Those aren't cows. No, they're not. <laughs> Hey Belinda, how long is sheep gestation? <laughs> We're not supposed to lay them till March, but we are actually right on schedule because I put the rams in October 1st and in my head that was March 1st, but in reality it was February 23rd was the due date. As of We have a few surprises, but their <laughs> due date was yesterday, so they're right on, right on time. But, They're um, right on schedule, we just can't keep track of things. Yeah, to feed sheep, we let them out in a yard between the barns and bring bales in, just to avoid any accidents happening. And in the 20 minutes they were out there, I opened the door and one of these was on the ground and I caught the second one before it hit the ice, so. <clears throat> Cold start. You were efficient, mama. I got the panic call. Those yeah. are always fun. Jeremy! <laughs> yeah, it didn't well, sound like that. Because I'm holding Jeremy! <laughs> two slippery lambs. I got mom right there. And then I've got the rest of the flock that wants to come in because they know there's fresh feed. And they've got me pinned up against the door that I need to open. Oh. <laughs> we need more sheep or less sheep? I'm not know. sure. Do they we need less of everything? Yeah, I got them towel off and dried and warm and going. And they got up and they... Uh, I gave them a little bit out of a bottle just to make sure they got a start because it is chilly and then they both nursed mom really good and their bellies are full and they're happy. So we will repeat that over here. I'm really happy with how uniform the lambs are. Um, we've been learning a lot about sheep as we've grown our flock the last few years and uh, nutrition when they're developing their placentas in utero is huge. Uh. And we had our very first lambing group, um, you know, we had sets of triplets and they were a pound difference between all three of them and yeah. that's not ideal. So I've been working with a nutritionist and our vet. our vet a lot and this makes me super happy. I've seen both of them drink. Yeah. This is just pure insurance. insurance. Yeah. Okay. I'm just really impressed you didn't get this mixed up with Indy's bottles. Oh, there we go. I know, honey. You're a good mom. Just helping out. What did you say in there? Girl, boy, or whatever they choose to be, <laughs> it's fine by us. Currently searching for Belinda's phone in the barn. This happens an average of five times a week. <laughs> it's not annoying at all. One time it was in the hay feeder, remember? And we had to wait for the cows to eat all the hay. And then we came out the next morning and found it. <laughs> I'm going to buy you a tether. I don't know. I'll call it again. I'll get a new one. <laughs> Do you need help getting your gloves on? I don't even need gloves today. Minus 20. The wind's like Minus 7 billion. billion kilometers an hour. Bye, see you never. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Well, what is that? <laughs> okay. I guess she's trying to get up. She just got up. I gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Hey, what are you doing?
awake now. It's not nice outside. Uh, we're not getting any precipitation. It's just the winds, is, it's crazy out there and it's blowing everything around. And now we're down to eight cows as of this morning and now we're down to four cows. So uh, three out of four of those moms decided to go outside and calve in the storm. Uh, <laughs> we had to bring one over to the shed to warm up. She wouldn't take a bottle for almost three hours and then she just crushed one so that's great she's back with mom and then we did the old switcheroo on the toboggan and the bull calf that was just born out there he's in there now so we'll let him warm up for an hour and then we'll go offer him a bottle to get his core temperature up from the inside and then he can go back to mom so we have how many calves have we had born i don't know a ton <laughs> what did I say last night? I forget. I was asking you how many in the last seven days, and I think you said eight at that point. I think we've had 12 this week. 12 this week. Yeah. No big deal. No big deal. Well, that one that I fought with to take a bottle, Yeah. she kind of took it for me, but then you come along, and she just crushed it, so you get to do all the bottles from now on. Try harder. <laughs> <laughs> you got the touch? I don't. Um, I'm good at carrying heavy it's things. because I smell like milk right now all the time. That's weird. As a mother. <laughs> it's like, are you my mother? <laughs> <laughs> you cannot breastfeed the calves. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what a day. Uh, yeah, but I don't even know. It's, no. it's, we did have a little bit of a hiccup. We lost one in there, too. Yeah. The cow, there was one cow that calved outside. She was super aggressive. We had two little girls standing on the other side of the gate while Indy was in her carrier, but we looked at each other and it was like, they don't need to see us die. <laughs> and I don't know that Mallory would have the strength to drag Indy all the way back to the house. So we're not gonna screw with this. And unfortunately, it didn't make it through the storm last night. So it's frustrating when that happens, but I don't know. Part of me wants to sit on the couch and cry and drink a coffee, but there's four other babies out there that need us to keep them going too. There's not something that you right. can say to make you feel better about it. It's still a life. It's frustrating. And You're right. Try your hardest. Try your hardest? No, no. I said <laughs> you do try your hardest. <laughs> try harder, baby. Try harder. Try harder. No. No. It's sad. I feel sad about it, and that's okay. I'm just going to be sad about that's it. That's right. Okay. Um, are you cleaning the camera lens with your underwear right now? <laughs> They're clean. <laughs> Not There's anymore. <laughs> in the laundry pile on the table, as you do. I want to get a puppy, like another one. Are you kidding me? Like we don't have enough <laughs> to do right now? The I can't right stop now. looking at black lab puppies. Do you even hear me when I say things? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> We're getting like very minimal sleep right now. I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Every day I go out, treat the lambs, and then give myself a shot of B12 in the butt. Woo! And away we go. No, we're not getting a puppy right now. Ro getting Roxy was a gamble. <laughs> I'm glad we got her. I know, I am too, but I just... Look how cute she is. I don't think we need anything more. I can't see the screen. Aww. Snuggling with her baby. We need to get groceries. We need to get straw. Oh, great. <laughs> this is why we make less. Yeah. We got apples, we got Sound like tomatoes. popsicles in the wash bill. <laughs> Be the best day ever for it. <laughs> she would love that. Yeah. Mommy, she'll always eat edamame. We had a freezer. I've never seen a kid love edamame as much as that. They're so high in protein, it's too. Like it's like, like the healthiest food ever, and yeah. she just loves it. Like one cup with shell on is nine grams of protein. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. You're not a huge fan. Oh, I like them. I don't like them. You just sit there like, these are just summing beans. It's true, I do say that. <laughs> Mind you, I ate a lot of things that I don't normally eat last summer, and I think it was the little 
parasite growing inside me. <laughs> yeah, you like I ate a lot of strawberries last yeah. year, and I'm like, they're not a fruit. Like, I was, like, cutting grass the one day, and I, like, there was, like, a path in the grass, like, over to the garden. <laughs> <laughs> and then I sat there for, like, half an hour. I saw them from a distance, and I was so excited, which is not normal. You know what? I, I got something to say that I want to say, I think. Then say it, Jeremy. I don't know how to say it. We are really lucky that we get to farm and yeah. make videos and have fun and show you our lives and all that. And I think the events of this week really have put that into um, the forefront of my mind. Yeah. You know, Ukraine is the breadbasket of the world. It is like some of the nicest land in the world. There's so much food comes out of Ukraine. I just can't imagine being a farmer there right now and coming into spring, having to tend to your crops and try and plant crops with all that going on around you. I just... Yeah, my heart goes out to them. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of chats this week about good people. You've got some friends over there, and it's just, I don't know. If they can get out, they're coming to stay with us, actually. Yeah. So, like, he sent me a video of his street, and there's hardly anything left, and they just hide in basements all day. It's been bombed. Everything's on fire. Yeah. We're so lucky here. Mm Mm-hmm. And we can't take that for granted. Yeah, we're thinking of you. I don't know. There's a lamb in our house. Trying to get blood pumping. I have to get the body temperature up before we can feed it, whether it's a tube or a bottle. So yeah, lamb that we found and thought was not alive, was alive. Uh-huh. Sack over its head. Can you hear that? Yeah. Hi, buddy. It does it have any suck response? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. It's getting there. So there's a chance. So you're, so you're saying, saying there's, there's a, a chance. chance. <laughs> we have not had coffee yet. Actually, the coffee pot. Why is it not running? It's not running. It's We never finished that job. You hold the board down there, Bill? Come <laughs> Ah, oh, thank God. Welcome back to the land of the living. Hi. Almost time to go back to Mama. Oh, you're nice and warm. Yeah. Oh, you need that? That was in our bedroom. Well, now I'll not come back to her bedroom. <laughs> it's demoted. To the sheep now. Yeah, that works, though. It's crazy when you think about, like, a new baby animal in a matter of minutes has to learn how to breathe, walk, nurse, do all three at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Human babies are, like, just a blob. You carry them around. <laughs> a year later, they're like, maybe I'll walk. <laughs> Hi. Oh, no way, it's a girl. I thought you were a giant boy. It's a girl. It's a girl. She's a fighter. We should have called her Belinda. Don't name it, then it'll die. <laughs> First rule of sheep farming, don't name them or they'll die. Yeah. in there. Stay there. She's so scared. No. She's on her foot. Up with the babies? Yeah. Why well, doesn't want you to leave? Storm, this storm coming down.
Yeah. 